switching your Windows or Linux PCs on and off automatically or from a remote location can be important. In this video, you will learn how to do this from Home Assistant, Node-RED and the Linux shell. As an example, I will save about 99% of the energy used by my Proxmox backup server because it only runs a few minutes a day. I will also start a Windows PC in our remote radio station. All free of charge, of course. Wake on LAN is the magic word. Great to YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. As many of you know, we have a solar-powered radio station in a remote location. Because of energy constraints, I wanted to be able to switch the PC remotely. Switching off a Windows PC is a piece of cake. Just hit the shutdown button. But how to turn it on remotely? Not so easy. You can buy such PCIe cards to power and reset a PC. But my 1 liter PC does not have such a slot. And why spend money for nearly nothing? How can it be done instead? Most modern PCs have a built-in wake on LAN functionality. Even when the PC is powered down, its Ethernet chip is still listening to a magic packet and, if everything is set up correctly, boots the PC as soon as it gets such a packet. This is exactly what we need. Of course, this does not work for PCs or laptops connected by Wi-Fi only. But who operates important systems over Wi-Fi? To get this working, we have to solve two problems. Enable Wake on LAN on the target PC and produce a magic packet from our preferred platform. Let's start with point one. On all PCs, we have to enable the feature in the BIOS. As usual, you have to search for it usually somewhere in the power options. Unfortunately, this is not all. So, let's continue with a Windows machine. Here we have to enable Wake on Magic Packet in the Device Management, Network Adapters, Advanced tab. Because the Magic Packet has to be sent to the MAC address of the Network Adapter, we go to the command shell and enter ipconfig slash all. Here we find the MAC address of the network adapter we want to use. Note it down for later. For Linux systems, we use the shell and type IPA to show all network connections. Usually, we need the first adapter after loopback. On my Proxmox server, it is ENO1. Often, it is ETH0. Also, copy the MAC address to a notepad. Now we enter this command. Maybe you need to add sudo. The result is something like that. If you find a D after supports wake on LAN, your network adapter does not support wake on LAN. This applies to virtual network adapters, of course. If you find the letter G, it supports the magic packets. Next, we check wake on. If it says G, everything is okay. If not, we have to change it persistently to survive a reboot of the system. We can do that by adding this line to the interfaces file, just below the iFace definition. After reboot, we can check if it is OK. Now we can proceed to point number two. Wake the target PC up from another machine. Here I want to show you three possibilities and start with Node-RED. Go to Manage Palette. Search for Node-RED, Node-WOL and install it. Now you should find a new node called Wake on LAN. During configuration, I had some issues what made it necessary to dig into how WOL works. So let's look at what I learned. The magic packet we talked about before is a simple UDP packet usually sent to port 9 of all addresses connected to your local area network. Let's capture one of those using Wireshark and the incredibly useful packet sniffer of my Microtik router. I have included a link to a video 
if you use MicroTIC equipment and want to use it in your projects. Here is the packet. It contains 6 times FF and then 16 times the MAC address of the computer to wake up. To be sent to everybody, it has the broadcast destination address 4 times 255. Unfortunately, because my node red runs in a Docker container, broadcast packets are blocked somewhere in the Docker bowels, and we have to enter the target PC's IP address in addition to its MAC address. Like that, it is no longer a broadcast package, and it works. Cool! I can now add a button node to my simple dashboard to switch the PC on from remote. But how is this done with Home Assistant? It's not much more complicated. We have to add these lines in the config.yaml file. Give it a good name, check the configuration, and reload the YAML file. Now you should be able to find the switch in the Entities menu. Next, go to the Switches dashboard and add a new button card. Select the entity and select Call Service as a tap action, not as a hold action. If you select Wake on LAN, you can add the MAC address from before. Save and test it out. It should work without problems, at least if you use a standard home automation configuration. Otherwise, you probably have to add the IP address too. So we can proceed to the most complex problem. Automate my backup server to save a lot of energy. How can this be done? Let's start with my setup. I run all my stuff on the Proxmox VE server hosted on this mini PC. Of course, I want a backup for all my VMs in case something happens. I want my backup system completely separated from the productive machine. This is why I added a second of these small servers on top of the first one and installed Proxmox backup server. Maybe I will move this system to a different location in the future. Installing and using Proxmox Backup Server is simple and straightforward, by the way. I used the full built-in disk for backup and installed Proxmox on a memory stick. The only thing I had to do on my Proxmox VE production server was to add a backup job that includes all VMs. It runs at 1 AM in the night and takes a few minutes. The only problem is that my backup server runs 24 times 7 and wastes a lot of energy. This is not what I want. What I want is that it starts 3 minutes before the backup and runs till after the backup is finished. Then it has to automatically shut down and conserve energy for the next 23 hours and 50 minutes. Again, we have to solve two problems. Start the backup server from remote and shut it down after the last backup has finished. After all our preparation, point one is easy. We could automate it with Node-RED or with Home Assistant. But we will start the backup server from the production Proxmox Linux server. Why? Because we can, of course. A big shout out to Upharlds Adventures, who did a write-up on how to do this task. How can we create a magic packet from Linux? Easy. We just have to install Wake on LAN on our Proxmox console. If we add the backup server's MAC address, we can test it. It works without any problems. So what is the overall setup for this energy saving scenario? We need a timer on the production system that runs 24 times 7 and calls the service that executes the Wake on LAN command three minutes before 1 a.m. The backup job is scheduled to run at 1 a.m. and runs for whatever time it takes. In parallel, we need a second timer that starts a few minutes after the backup server is started. It calls a service that executes a bash script that waits until the last backup is done and one minute later shuts the backup server down. That's all. Let's start the implementation. By the way, to make it simple for you, the video description includes a link to the write-up. We start with a service on the production server that executes the wake on LAN command when called. Its name is 
wakebigstore.service. As said before, we want to wake our backup server at 0057. This is why we create wakebigstore.timer. That does exactly that. Of course, we have to enable the timer and reload the daemons. With these steps, our Proxmox production system creates a magic packet for our backup server before 1 a.m. Proxmox backup boots fast and is ready for the backup task that starts at precisely 1 a.m. So we learned to create a magic packet on Linux too. Excellent. We now can proceed to step two. Wait until all backups are finished and shut the backup server down. Of course, it has to be done in the shell of the backup server. We use a simple trick to find out when the last backup is finished. As we see here, each backup runs in a task. No backup, no task. So we need the shell script that continuously counts the tasks and if no task is running anymore, waits for a minute before it issues the shutdown command. Not too complicated. We create and call the bash script auto shutdown. And as usual, we do not forget to make it executable. As with wakebigstore.service, we need autoshutdown.service to call this script. Autoshutdown.timer makes sure that the service is called in parallel or after the backup job. In my case, it is set to 1.03 a.m. Overall, this is an elegant solution. It could also be used for other scenarios where you do not want to run a machine 24 times 7. For example, you could power some of your systems down when you are sleeping. In this video, we learned an elegant way to start Windows and Linux PCs remotely and created magic packets from Node-RED, Home Assistant and Linux. With Node-RED, I switched the PC in my remote radio station. And with Linux, I automated my Proxmox backup server to conserve a lot of energy. One last thing as a bonus for the guys still watching. Because the backup runs around midnight, I added an email notification to my Proxmox VE. In its newest version, it became much easier because you can directly add an SMTP service. Very handy, also for other error messages. Maybe you give it a try? This was all for today. As always, you find all the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.